This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.5. Parents can now see discussion details, such as discussion name and instructions. If an end date or grade item is assigned to a discussion, it will display in the Upcoming Work and Recent Grades widgets, respectively. When viewing the Upcoming Work widget, parents can now click a discussion topic, to view instructions, grades if applicable, and availability. Clients no longer have access to the IIS logs report. Evidence in Brightspace Portfolio can now be aligned to course outcomes to better communicate how the evidence supports learning. Users can now print and download an uploaded syllabus from Course Overview. This feature implements PI item D3679. Note, this feature will display differently based on the settings of the D2L, System, Services, Document Conversion, Is Enabled, Configuration Variable. For more details, review the release notes. New Print and Download buttons appear in Course Overview for users with the Download Content Topics Content Permission Enabled. Note, when viewing a PDF file, only download is visible to users. A variety of new columns are available in Brightspace datasets. A new advanced dataset, Impersonated Session History, indicates sessions that were impersonated by an administrator or D2L support. User Logins data now correctly reports impersonated logins. You and your instructors can now associate existing discussion topics with new or existing groups or sections. When creating or editing a group or section in Create Workspaces, click Set Up Discussion Areas. Select Create New Topic to create a new discussion topic, or select the new Attach to Existing Topic option to create group or section restricted threads in an existing discussion topic. Note, you can only create group restricted threads for empty topics without existing posts or group restrictions. Users with the Manage Grades permission can now see the exact date and time a learner's grade is released or unreleased in the Grade Event Log. Note, historical data is not available for grades that were released or unreleased prior to this feature. Usernames and org-defined IDs can now be displayed in groups and sections to differentiate between duplicate learner names. This feature implements PI items D2 801 and D777. Click Settings to choose a differentiator of username or org defined ID. Note, this feature requires the view users org defined IDs user permission and the C usernames user information privacy permissions to be enabled. Users can now directly link to content modules, submodules, and the course overview directly from the HTML editor. Previously, only a link to content was available in the HTML editor. This feature implements PI items D545, D2033, and D1731. When using the HTML editor, click Insert Quick Link, select Content, and navigate to the desired topic. Chemistry equations and handwriting using a stylus or finger for input are now available in the HTML editor. This feature implements PI item D3383. Anywhere the HTML editor is available, click the Graphical Equation drop-down menu and select the new Chemistry Equation. To use chemical symbols to create an equation, or click Go to Handwritten Mode and manually write out your equation. Note, this feature does not enable hand-drawn graphs. When you are ready, click Insert. Now, the TII Submission ID is displayed in the Submission History page when a learner makes a submission to a Turnitin enabled submission folder. Awards and their release conditions 
can now be copied between courses, allowing for awards to be reused between courses and sections. This feature implements PI items D2707 and D4128. In lessons, learning objects can now be published to and from Brightspace Learning Object Repository. When adding content to lessons, instructors can now add from the Learning Object Repository and New content can be published to LOR. The new Assigned Learning microservice is used by Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups to store due dates. You can now set due dates in Manager Dashboard when assigning courses to learning groups. The due date appears in the course and user details pages to easily view and track course progress. Due dates apply to all members of a learning group. A new released final grade score Release Condition Type is available everywhere a user can create and attach release conditions. This feature implements PI items D699, D4295, and D4329. When creating a new release condition, there is now a Released Final Grade Score Condition Type. Select it and navigate to Condition Details. To specify whether the content will release with the final grade or only if the learner earns a specific score on their final grade. The ability to schedule Wigio virtual meetings is no longer available to clients. Want to see the full workflow for creating group or section threads in discussions? Check out the link provided in the video.